And in patients that tend to get better, I noticed three things. And they have to do with paradigm shifts. The first paradigm shift was that they were able to make a transition from a reductionist model, the mechanical model, to a holistic. If it is true that we're comprised of the energy of, of spiritual energy, there's emotional energy, and there's an energy of thought as well as the physical, then any program we put together to try to help someone improve the quality of their life at any level and in any capacity that doesn't at least acknowledge and explore the interrelationship of that dynamics is in and of itself, what? A self-limiting paradigm. The second paradigm shift is the fact that patients that do the best seem to be the ones that are able to make the mind shift from a sickness care model to a wellness care model. And then the third, uh, other speakers have made mention of the importance of the doctor-patient relationship, but the old paradigm is the doctor-patient relationship, where the doctor is God, right? And you get your marching orders, and you don't question, and you don't think for yourself. The new paradigm is all around empowerment, and it's empowering the patient to be responsible, to take ownership, and be involved in their own healing process. So those are the three paradigms.